One year ago today, Trump supporters from across the country gathered in the nation's capital to protest Congress's certification of the 2020 presidential election results. To use a favorite term that all of you people really came up with, we will stop the steal. At a rally near the White House, President Trump spoke to a crowd estimated in the thousands, everyone from ordinary Americans to conspiracy theorists boys. to members of right-wing extremist groups. We will never give up. We will never concede. It Trump repeated happen. the lie that the election was stolen, urging his supporters to march to the Capitol and fight. You'll never take back our country with weakness. We fight like hell. And if you don't fight like hell, you're not going to have a country anymore. Around 1 p.m., as Trump is wrapping up his remarks in the park, the day turned violent. A group of his supporters on the western side of the Capitol confront the handful of police guarding the barriers and force their way through. Moments after Mr. Trump finished... Police officer Thomas Webster will serve 10 years in prison for assaulting police during the riot while wearing his police-issued body armor. One officer testified that he struggled to breathe when Webster grabbed his mask, cutting off his oxygen. The great American jobs machine continues its comeback. America workers are back to work, earning more, manufacturing more, building an economy from the bottom up and the middle out. But with today's news, we have now created nearly 10 million new jobs since I took office. Nearly 10 million jobs, the fastest growth in all of American history. In August, we also saw that the share of Americans who are working on our economy went up. Economists call that labor force participation rate. Working age women are now, for the first time, back at work at rates not seen since before the pandemic. Wages are up. Unemployment remains near a 50-year low. And yesterday, we got that we uh, got data that showed that manufacturing orders were up. But cost increases in supply chain items were beginning to ease. The week before that, we got data showing that price increase may be beginning to ease as well. The bottom line is jobs are up, wages are up, people are back to work, and we're seeing.